Hello everyone, welcome along to the Sports Corner. It is Premier League night number nine. Not quite yet, a little bit later on, but don't forget that we're going to have plenty of content on the channel today and over the next few days. If you missed it yesterday, uh, we had the privilege to interview the rock star Joe Cullen. So if you haven't checked that already, go and check it out. It's a brilliant interview. We talk about tonight's action. We talk about the season ahead and what Joe Cullen likes to eat after his pre-match celebration. So please do check that out if you haven't already. But we're here today to make our predictions ahead of tonight's action. Uh, now, unfortunately, we had the news last night that Gary Anderson has had to withdraw due to a positive COVID-19 test. Uh, so Michael Van Gogh will be receiving a bye to the semi-finals, uh, and he'll also receive a 6-0 win, uh, like how Joe Cullen did a few weeks ago against Gerwin Price. But... Not to worry, we still have three very tasty looking quarterfinals. Uh, and we're going to talk through those now, as well as the betting predictions, the tips on who we feel like is going to win the night at the first direct arena in Leeds. So the first night of action, or the first game, sorry, even, is uh, Michael Smith against Peter Wright. Now, Michael Smith's currently sat seventh in the league on eight points. And the pressure is going to build. Time is of the essence. We're getting closer and closer to that big night in Germany in the playoffs in June. I think June 13th it is. So he's not really got long left to pick up points. And when you're playing someone like Peter Wright, who has made three semi-finals in a row, he's on 16 points. He's only one point behind Johnny Clayton and the tabletop of Michael Van Gerwen. Michael Smith's got a lot of work to do. Um, now, Peter Wright has actually reached three semi-finals in a row now. Uh, he lost last week to Johnny Clayton with a 107 average as well as six 180s, uh, which was a real shame for him. But the more Peter Wright makes these semi-finals, the more points he's going to pick up. And soon, I do feel like very soon, we are going to see Peter Wright as one of those players that is pretty much guaranteed to make the playoffs in Germany. Uh, I think I might have said Dublin earlier on. If I did, ignore that. Um, but this game, the bookies, they're predicting uh, that Peter Wright is going to win this one. Uh, William Hale predicting odds of 8 to 11 uh, to Michael Smith, who's been given odds of 11 to 10. I'll be honest with you, I agree with the bookmakers on this one. I really do think that Peter Wright is going to win this game fairly comfortably. Although, I am going to predict a 180 frenzy in this game. Uh, and talking about 180 frenzies... Mr. Joe Cullen. He plays against Johnny Clayton in the second quarterfinal of the evening. Uh, and a fun fact for you, Joe Cullen currently sat fourth in the league on 12 points. He actually has the lowest average of the tournament so far, uh, which is a 92.06, but he has the most 180s. Uh, he's got 47 so far in the tournament. That's about two or three more uh, than Mr. Michael Van Gerwen himself. Now, he's got a tough job on his hands because Johnny Clayton last week in Birmingham uh, absolutely battered everyone, pretty much. Uh, he won that game against James Wade by six legs to one. Um, averaged 111 in that final. Pretty much averaged 104 for the entire evening. It was a fantastic night for the Ferret. And it could be another good night again. You know, he sits second in the league on uh, 17 points. He's only behind MVG on legs difference. The key for the ferret is to just keep going at the pace that he is because he will pretty much be like Peter Wright, like MVG. Those three players are starting to push away from the rest of the pack. And the more that those three reach the semi-finals, the quicker they're going to be guaranteed that pretty much playoff spot, maybe by May, early May, potentially, if you think about it. Uh, so in terms of the actual odds for this game, 6-5 to five on William Hill for Joe Cullen to win this one. 4-6, to six, as you would expect. Johnny Clayton is the favourite to win this game. Again, I think I've got to agree with the bookies. Uh, we obviously interviewed Joe Cullen yesterday. He says you know, he does tend to practice a hell of a lot with Johnny Clayton. Uh, but I feel with the way that the ferret is playing right now, he is in the form that we expected the ferret to be in at the beginning of 2022 um you know the players championships at the weekend i think he only made um the top 16 ones but in these other two matches he made the top 32 so it's not like he's having poor performances on the floor either uh, and i think i would expect him to beat joe cullen uh, if i was to make a prediction six legs to three is my prediction for that game uh, and then the last game in terms of the quarterfinals james wade against going price Really excited for this game, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, we know going Price is suffering a, a fractured hand, but he's still playing on, and that is a, a huge kudos to him because we've seen uh, a couple of the big players, like Nathan Aspinall, for example, who have had injuries. And there's always, I guess, a doubt in the head that 
these types of injuries could completely change you as a player and you're never the same player again. But going prices, not been in too bad these last couple of weeks uh, in terms of the Players' Championships at the weekend. He made the last 16 in one of them, losing to Josh Rock, who is on fire right now by six legs to four. Uh, we did see the very best of going price, uh, 102.67 average against Jim Williams in the top 64 in that same Players' Championship event. Um, we're not seeing it enough in the Premier League, however. Uh, he's actually lost two of his last quarterfinals uh, with a combined average of 93. So if going price is going to want to make the playoffs, he's going to have to start really working hard soon because, again, you know, you've already got three of the, the top four running away with it. If going price wants to make the playoffs, he's going to have to make a pretty good charge over the next few weeks. And the same could be said for James Wade as well. He's currently sat fifth in the league on 10 points, only two points behind Joe Cullen in fourth. Uh, he's been fantastic these last couple of weeks, James Wade. Uh, and I personally believe he will beat going price tonight. Um, I think it'll be tight, 6-4, 6-5 maybe if he's lucky. Uh, but look, James Wade has been brilliant these last few weeks. Uh, and in terms of the actual odds to win the night outright, I'm quite surprised. Uh, Michael Van Gerwen's the favourite, of course, at 21-20, to 20, as you would expect. Uh, second favourite, Johnny Clayton, at 7-2. to two. Third favourite, going price, 4-1. to one. Wasn't expecting that, but of course, with him being the world number two, he's always going to be uh, one of the likely favourites to win the night. And you could probably say he's in the favourable part of the draw this week uh, with Michael Van Gerwen and Peter Wright in the other half. Talking about Snakebite, he's 9-2 to two to win the night outright. 13-2 to two is Michael Smith uh, with Joe Cullen at 10-1. to one. James Wade, 12-1. to one. If I was a bookmaker uh, and I was a, a betting tipster, I guess you could say, I would be saying James Wade, 12-1. to one. Fantastic odds for him tonight. Again, he's in the favourable side of the draw. He's playing an injured girl in price. He made, um, you know, he was the runner-up last week. Very, very surprised that they are offering 12 to 1 odds. So if you are going to put a bet on tonight, I would predict that. And in terms of the winner of this night, uh, of this evening, at the very least, I am going to predict Peter Wright to win the night and go top of the table, potentially, all depending on what Michael Van Gerwen does. So there are predictions for the evening. We've got plenty of content, as I said, coming up over the next couple of days. We're going to try and get an interview with the winner at the end of the night, and we'll keep you posted. Uh, we might do a little show as well at the end of it to uh, kind of uh, analyse the night's action. So you can join me and Ryan on the channel. Um, check our Twitter as always. We'll be doing live tweet-alongs and things like that uh, over the night, the first direct arena. But if you are new... Like and subscribe as always. You might notice there's a little bit more content going out on the channel. Um, definitely will be over the next couple of weeks. We're going to be in Leeds, Manchester and Sheffield. Hopefully Touchwood. So uh, we should have more darts content to come. Uh, but as for now, we will see you with more content from Leeds. Goodbye.